Today what I want to talk about is uh, how to get exhibits onto your iPad in TrialPad without using Box. And so this came up, uh, the last trial that I was working on, I like to use the iPad as one of my backups for in case my main computer, my Dell, in case there's something catastrophic that happens. And what I wanted to do was load all the PDF exhibits from this case file. There was about 800 exhibits in total between JTX, PTX, and DTXs, um, and get them onto the iPad. The problem was, that would have given me about like 11 gigs of data. And so I didn't really want to sit around and wait for 11 gigs of data to get uploaded to Dropbox and then downloaded to the iPad. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your iPad, you're gonna need uh, the charging cable, uh, and if you only have USB-C ports on your laptop, like mine unfortunately, uh, you're gonna need a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And so I'm gonna connect the uh, iPad to the laptop. I'm gonna open up iTunes on this computer um, if you haven't already installed it, you'll have to install it. You'll have to download it and install it. That takes a while. Once you have, uh, pull up iTunes, open it up. And if it's the first time that you've connected this particular iPad to this particular laptop, it's going to ask you like if you trust it, things like that. So basic questions like that will come up. There it is. And now it's asking me, do I trust, uh, do I want to allow this computer to access information in iPad Pro? Continue. And then sometimes it asks you if you want to do that same thing over on here. It'll ask you on the iPad if you trust the computer, so you hit trust. Now these two things are allowed to talk to each other. right? And then once you do that, then in iTunes, you should be able to see the iPad pop up on your screen here. So what I want to do is, um, I want to click on that, and now I'm looking at the iPad Pro itself. And in this left-hand side, I want to go to File Sharing. I think on previous versions it used to be called something else, like apps or something like that. But now it's called file sharing. And here you have a bunch of apps that you can drag and drop materials from your laptop to your iPad onto. Let's select TrialPad so that we can do that. Once we have that selected, then we're going to click on add file. So we'll add the file. And then we'll navigate to the point on our laptop where the files we want to import into TrialPad are located. Um, the other way you can do it is you can just drag and drop and I have a folder over here already ready and I'm gonna take the JTX from this sample case file that I used last time and drag those in into trial pad and you'll see they start loading up and they have that kind of loading bar on the top. Now what's actually happening is the files are getting copied to the iPad so this is the speed that they're going. It's gonna take some time but it's much faster than trying to download them from the cloud. So once we've done that, that'll be in there. And the next thing I'll do is I will just download folders because uh, there's a lot of PTXs in the sample case file and a lot of DTXs. Um, and I want to bring those in as separate folders in and of themselves. And I'll show you why in a minute. So it looks like we're on 14 of 18. Almost there. All right, now that's done. Now let's select the DTX trial exhibits stamped. I'm just gonna rename that file real quick and just call it DTX. And then uh, same thing with PTX. Right. And so for the PTX, I'll bring those in first and I can just drag and drop an entire folder worth of stuff um, into iTunes to get it onto the iPad. And it's just copying, it's considering it one big file uh, but it's going to take a while in this folder. Let's take a look in here. There are 514 uh, PDFs. And through the miracle of YouTube, we'll fast forward past this. All right, so the, the download from iTunes on the laptop to the iPad is finally complete. And if you look in here in iTunes, we've got the DTX in its own folder. All of them are inside there. That was eight gigs. We've got a whole bunch of JTXs and then seven gigs worth of PTX, so 15 gigs. It took probably about 15 minutes in total, uh, maybe a little bit longer, I didn't exactly measure. Um, but imagine how long that would have taken if you were trying to do a download from Dropbox to an iPad or the Wi-Fi, if it would have even worked without kind of timing out or something breaking. So that's done, I'll hit sync just to make sure everything's synced up. And then I'll hit done and then get disconnect this iPad. And now I'll head over to the iPad. So we don't need this anymore, and we don't need this anymore. So I've got all 15 gigs worth of data uh, on this iPad, so let's open up TrialPad. 
When I go into there, what I'll notice is in the top left hand corner, and let me put on my uh, the uh, show finger so you can see what I'm doing. So in the upper left hand corner up here, there is a button called new files and it has like a floating number on it to let you know that there's a whole bunch in there. I'm gonna tap that and it's gonna show me all the new files that are in here, all the DTXs and all the PTXs, keep scrolling, that are in here. I think the JTXs were in here somewhere as I got through. Let's see, there they are. So I'm gonna select all the documents and select the case that I want to import them into. Same import process as if you were doing it from uh, Dropbox. Add a new case, I'll call this example case. Create the case, add it in there, and then wait. It's gonna take it now from kind of like the, like the limbo holding area in trial pad into a specific case folder. So now the import process is complete and I can see on my iPad here, I have the example case file with 15 gigs, 974 files inside. Now, the thing to remember is, when I imported the JTXs, I kind of drag and dropped all the individual files over, and those are kind of in the main kind of bin of documents. But when I did the, J, uh, the DTX and the PTX, I drag and dropped those folders over, and what's nice about that is, all those exhibits within that folder maintain that folder structure, so they're inside this PTX folder, and so instead of me having to kind of thumb through all 514 of these exhibits. Um, they're neatly tucked away inside a folder. So if I'm working in JTXs, like JTX3 here, I can go to page, I think it's seven, eight, nine. Page nine, that's where the, the claims are. Um, I can work with the JTXs here. And then if I need to dive into a DTX or a PTX, I can go to the DTX folder, find what I need, click into that, show it, jump back out and get back to the JTX is there. So it keeps it nicely uh, organized and compartmentalized to an extent. This is a case that's much bigger than I would normally recommend uh, for a trial pad, but since I was using it as my backup, I felt like this was an okay way of having a backup in case the Dell and the MacBook failed. So it's kind of backup number three. But if you need to download a large number of exhibits, um, either in folders, if they're in nice categories like JTX, DTX, and PTX. Um, this is a nice way to do it. Or if you have a large number of files and you just don't wanna use it, maybe your Wi-Fi is not that reliable at the office, or maybe it's not that fast, you can use iTunes and a cable uh, to connect to your iPad to be able to do that. Recently, I also did a CLE webinar, I think that was when it was, about a month ago, and there, uh, one of the people that was watching the webinar was with a governmental institution and they weren't allowed to use Dropbox for this type of purpose so they had to connect their iPads. So if you're in the situation where from an institutional reason or a security reason you can't use Dropbox or any other cloud service to get exhibits onto your iPad to use in TrialPad, then you're going to have to use iTunes, the charging cable, uh, and that method to be able to download the exhibits to your iPad. If you have any questions about that process, Feel free to leave it for me in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there.